Elizabeth! How's little Edward this morning? We heard him crying out last night. Oh, he's all right now, Nancy. But it has been awful. It's like he's had these episodes every night. Goodness. Maybe he just needs a little something to help calm down before he goes to sleep. I seem to have tried everything, but nothing seems to be working. Babies, dear. They can be quite difficult at this age. We didn't manage to get it right until the third time round. <laughs> I'm not even sure I want another, let alone two more. I can barely deal with the one that I have. Don't worry, dear. It just takes time. <laughs> you know, I used to read these wonderful little pop-up books to Timothy when he was a baby. You still might have them. You know you're welcome to them. They just sat on the shelf rather than dead. I don't even know why I kept hold of them. Someone's calling. Oh, yes, he is. I'd better see to him. Bye, Nancy. Hello. today. <laughs> We're fine, although I haven't been able to get Edward down for the life of me. Goodness me, are you not behaving for money? Francis <laughs> coming round later with some books that might help him sleep. That's all well and good, but you do not need Nancy's help. Well, you may think that, but you don't have to listen to his insufferable shrieking one hours of the day. I'm so tired, Andrew. I'm starting to see things. I swear, just this morning, I saw his bear winking. <laughs> Now, you don't go disrespecting my wife again, sir. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> How was work today, darling? Well, the damn radio broke, so we have to listen to Larry, of all people, all day go on complaining about his wife and her cooking. Oh, poor Ruth. All she ever does is look after that man, and all he ever does is complain about her. <laughs> well, would you look at this? They're trying to bring those godforsaken television sets into our homes. Well, mark my words, we won't be getting one of them. This technology. This will be the death of us. They'll give you a lantern, they'll make your brain, drop the imagination, and turn your eyes into sleep. Then you'll be done. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Oh, you're always in that head of yours, aren't you, darling? Marching into battle. Quite fitting, don't you think? Mm. Would you like a cup of tea while you're here, Nancy? Oh, go on then. Might as well, seeing as I'm here.
I've noticed your daffodils are looking a little bit sad. Oh, that is strange, Nancy. I was only tending to them this morning. Oh, well, are you watering them enough? I mean, I water my chrysanthemums every day. I don't want them getting dry. Well, my mother used to tell me to water them every two days. Oh, no, no, no. Was your mother quite right? <laughs> you look at the time? It's getting late, my dear. We should be getting Edward settled down and ready for bed. Gosh, look at the time. i better be going. Doesn't time fly? <laughs> it is getting quite late. Thank you, Nancy, for the box. They'll be a big help. Now you behave yourself. Goodbye, Andrew. Lovely to see you again, Nancy. Mark the 4,900 day of war. We have intercepted a possible nuclear threat from Germany. Military advices, follow blackout procedure. Do not leave your homes unless advised by local authorities. In case of nuclear attack, do not approach windows and stay as far away from the outer walls and roofs as possible. Please try and get to the nearest bomb shelter. Lovely to see you. Would you like a cup, dear? 